Thank you, a dangerous driver, uh, drive rather for a rideshare driver. Metro police arrest a woman for kidnapping her Lyft driver. News 8's Adam Pinsker joins us in studio now. And Adam, this incident began on the west side of town and spanned several miles. It sure did. Very dangerous situation for this Lyft driver, Phil. It ended on the far east side of town. According to court documents, the suspect was also beating her son and holding a gun to the driver at the same time. Lyft driver Catherine Gibbons told police she got a call to pick up a Lyft customer at an apartment complex off Lyndhurst and Kentucky Avenue. According to court documents, the customer turned suspect, Kira Garrett, asked Gibbons to take her to an apartment complex off Post Road. But first, she ordered Gibbons to stop at the Lyndhurst apartment complex's basketball court so she can pick up her son. While there, Gibbons told police Garrett fired a gun out of the vehicle into the air. Kids could be heard screaming, and Garrett said they aren't going to mess with him that way. That's my son. Gibbons said she tried to call 911, but Garrett jammed the gun into her stomach and said, leave or I'm just going to kill you right here. Gibbons also told police she saw Garrett beat her son. Garrett then forced Gibbons to drive 17 miles across town to her final destination, the 8520 apartments, where she was last seen hitting a black Dodge Charger with her gun. Gibbons drove to a nearby tractor supply store where she called police. She was not injured in the incident. Officers later arrested Garrett at the 8520 apartments. And police found Kiera Garrett at that apartment complex. She's currently being held in the Marion County Jail. She's charged with criminal confinement, intimidation, criminal recklessness, and pointing a firearm. Adam Pinsker, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates.